Hi guys, welcome back. Just want to uh, show you guys something I've come across while swinging the detector. Sorry, excuse me, the the detector. And uh, yeah, well, anyway, here it is. I found another another mine shaft. knows how far inside that goes but it is uh, it is pretty cool to see that the old timers have literally just carved a hole down on the side of this hill here so in the middle of nowhere Oh, mully keeps, tailings pile. Anyway, thought you might like to see that. I'll keep swinging the old detector and see if I can come across anything. Catch us later. How's it going everyone, back again. I was just metal detecting up the side of the bank here. And I just come across a, a, a trail of quartz going down the hill. So I basically followed the trail of quartz up the hill and it's taken me to this little spot here. So I'll give you a bit of a look. Here's the, here's the downhill view. If you guys can see that, all those white stones, it's all quartz heading right down to the bottom of the gully. And as, as I come across with a detector across the side of the hill here, I stumbled across it. So obviously it, Makes me curious as to where it comes from. And I come all the way up the hill and look at the size of these pieces of quartz. There's my hand. Massive big pieces of quartz. Right, I've just got in here and a bit of a, had a bit of a dig. Looks like it's, uh, I don't know if it was an underground spring or, or what it was. Doesn't look like anybody's been here digging except for me just now. But um, when you look here, in the side of the walls, it's all full of quartz. Whole heaps of it. This is all quartz. Down in here is all quartz, all this. So, I don't know when we get big rains, if it, if you get some water running up out of there, but obviously it has to before, for it to wash out like this and and leave a trail of quartz going down the hill. So, I might have to go get the pan and uh, and sample a pan of it and see see what's in it. Anyway, guys, thought you might like to see it. See you. Wow, that is one big cutout. Wow, some bedrock here. Paleo just there. Yeah. Right there behind all this build up. No 
So you'd rather get down here and have a look. Let's get down here. Let's head down this wallaby run here. Wow. Wow. I wonder what's hiding in amongst all of this. Especially when you look at the walls. And you can see the different layers in them. Yeah. Look at that. Yep, and you look right down the bottom, you've got your bigger, coarser boulders. And then it gets smaller, lighter. It gets lighter and lighter as you go up. Until you get up near the top and it's just basically clay layers. What have we got up here? What's that? That's not a tailings pile sitting up there, is it? Let's go and have a look. I think we've found ourselves another mine up here. This is tailings piles for sure. Wow. One big tailings pile. Same as up here on the hill. Wow. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my God. I can actually see light down the other end. Careful up there, mate. There's a hole coming back down to this shaft. You can see light. I'll zoom right in for you guys. Wow. This is amazing. And considering this has all been dug from all the old timers. Wow. Makes you wonder where it goes to. Anyway, I'm heading back out. Of course, I haven't got no torch or a spotter or anybody with me at the moment. Shane's headed on up the hill. Dan's still down in the creek. We're just doing a bit of a, a bit of investigating, walking around. But this is quite amazing. I want to know what's up the hill and where that hole and that light's coming from. Let's go and have a look. All right. I've just made it up the top. Shane's up here, he's found something. All right. Look, 
brick canal there. Mate, it might have been somewhere where they used to melt the gold, mate. Yeah. Might have been in their old oven. Wow. History. Right. Through that, through that tunnel down the bottom, I could see daylight. Wow. That's where we could see daylight. Now, doesn't that go down a long way? Wow. I could not even see the bottom. That is a long way down. Oh my God. You definitely have to be careful walking around in areas like this. No doubt about it. This is just unbelievable what these old timers have done. And to think all this was dug by hand. I am absolutely amazed. Let's see what else they've got in store for us. What do we got here? Is this one that they've started or something? Or Test hole maybe? Look at the courts. Courts is just everywhere. All through the ground, everywhere. Everywhere you look is courts. No wonder they mined the hell out of this place. Wow. Look at that deposit over there, just courts over there in the hill. Zoom in on it. Look at it. Just massive courts over there. We have more trenches there. These just must have been, I don't know, there must have been test holes or something. Must be in test hole, Shane. I don't know what they are because they don't go right into the ground. It's like as if they must just dig down to see what's. I'd love to know what the old fella's theories was. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Anyway, I think it's time for us to head back. Yeah. Something different to look at anyway. Yeah. That's a good day. It's a good day when you find new things and see a bit of old history. Nothing better than that. And here you'll have the entrance to an underground gold mine. Obviously I'm not going to go walking in there because it's Probably not really safe. And also I haven't got no gear. So plain and simple, it's not me. I don't really like going in areas like that, but 
these old timers have done a lot of work. Got right, molly keeps, all their tailings piles. So they've definitely done some digging here. Dug this whole side of this hill out. And when I do look through the tailings pile, <coughs> sorry guys about the wobbly footage. I haven't got my gimbal on me at the moment, which I usually use. But when I look at this tailings pile, look what we have here. Pieces of quartz and stuff like that all through it. All in this one area. So here we go, another mine. My mate Dan just found it. There's another one just up there on the hill. Another one up on the hill, he said. So, yeah, this would have been some hard work for the old timers back in the day. But this one doesn't go right in, so obviously it just looks like someone done a bit of a test hole here to see what they could find. So, there may have been something in it, not sure. But, um, yeah, you look at the old workings here, just how they stack everything up and a lot of work went into this area. Yep, you can see another one right up there. And by the looks of it, here we have another entrance to another one here. Ah, she's all caved in, this one. All yeah, right. They may have not have dug right into that, but they may have. Anyway, I'm not going to walk up there in case there's a big hole and the foliage falls in. Anyway, guys, I'm going to pack, pack her up and get on out of here because it's actually pretty well pouring down now. It's not pouring down, but it's getting heavier. So we're going to pack her up and call her a day. We've been in it for a few hours now. So anyway, guys, over and out.